So more is coming out from this Ronald Richards versus Jay Edelson, Erica Girardi, Tom Girardi, Girardi Keys bankruptcy. And I know all of you are confused, mostly because of Ronald Richards. What is going on here? And a lot of you want to know, will the victims get their money? That's what people's main concern is. Well, let's get into it. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, we went live just the other day talking about this Ronald Richards versus Jay Edelson situation. And I know a lot of you are like, why are the lawyers fighting here? But this is what they do. This is what they get paid to do. As you know, we've been talking about Ronald Richards for quite some time now on the channel in regards to what he's been sharing about this Girardi Keys bankruptcy and his investigation of Erica Jane. We also just reported that it seemed as if and this is what Jay Edelson was alleging against Ronald Richards, that he was acting as Erica's attorney in a very strange way. And some of those strange emails were shared in the brief. That's where Jay Edelson said on his social media that Ronald Richards was fired. And yes, and, and I appreciate you all so much because you're all always sending me information. Guys, join our texting community, textkempire.com. If you have tea and it doesn't have to be just housewives, everything in pop culture we cover here, you guys let me know. Ronald Richards didn't like the fact that I said, Ronald, don't email me. And again, Ronald, don't email me. The information is there. I see it on social media. I don't need to have you on my platform to share your side of the stories. I didn't have Jay Ellison share his side of the stories. I shared what you both shared on social media. Point blank period. And I've been calling you a lawyer troll for a reason. Yes, we appreciate the information that you were sharing in regards to this case because we needed transparency. But the part of you that a lot of people found hard to deal with is how you share that information sometimes. Not all the time. Well, now, according to Jay Ellison, he has been replaced. He's been replaced. And the stay that he wanted removed has been removed. So let me just give you a quick update before I really go in. I'm really not going to go in because I don't do that, y'all. I'm not that interested in what's going on between these lawyers. But I'm going to just give you an update in what we know so far. So this is what you need to know, okay? The trustee replaced Beverly Hills attorney Ronald Richards with Larry Gabriel of Jenkins, Mulligan, and Gabriel in Woodland Hills. Edelson, Jay Edelson, his law firm, claims Richards sent him a barrage of emails last month threatening to do, quote, damage to the Chicago law firm. Again, it's almost a year since Jay Edelson and the law firm really are the ones that that exposed this whole, quote, Ponzi scheme of Girardi Keith, Tom Girardi. They were the ones. The replacement comes as Edison is attempting to lift a bankruptcy stay on its embezzlement lawsuit against Girardi and others, including Erica Girardi. So a trustee in the Girardi Keys bankruptcy has replaced Beverly Hills attorney Ronald Richards as her special counsel two days after he was accused of conducting a, quote, bizarre shakedown to make way for a settlement with Ger uh, Erica Girardi. In a substitution of counsel filed on Thursday, trustee Alyssa Miller replaced Richards of Ronald Richards and Associates with Larry Gabriel, an attorney in Woodland Hills, California, at Jenkins, Mulligan and Gabriel. OK, Miller did not give a reason for the replacement. But on Tuesday, Edelson accused Richards in court filings of threatening the Chicago law firm into dropping its embezzlement lawsuit in order for the trustee to reach a settlement with Erica Girardi, the estranged wife of Tom Girardi and star of the reality TV show Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. OK, Miller of. Uh, some Meyer Cupids in Los Angeles did not respond to requests for comment. We are glad he was terminated from the case, wrote Jay Edelson. OK, the trustee has now agreed to withdraw her opposition to our efforts to hold Erica accountable to the victims. We look forward to doing it without the tabloid esque distractions. Edelson, who was co-counsel with Girardi Keats on lawsuits against Boeing over the 2018 crash of Lion Air Flight 610 in Indonesia, filed its lawsuit on December 2nd of last year 
alleging Girardi embezzled client settlement funds. That prompted a federal judge in Chicago to issue a $2 million contempt order against Girardi and Girardi Keys and forced both into Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which automatically stayed Edelson's lawsuit. Although it was Erica Girardi who raised the fee agreement in court, Edelson claims Richards first brought up questions about his retainer in a barrage of emails last month. Richards did so after threatening to, quote, do damage to Edelson if the firm attempted to move forward with its lawsuits, according to Edelson. Then offered bank records showing no client settlements from the Lion Air lawsuits, even ended up in Erica Girardi's bank accounts. Ronald Richards has come under fire for his regular appearances and posts and tw on Twitter and other social media sites. Uh, Erica Girardi also threatened sanctions against Miller for inflammatory, malicious, and reckless allegations in court papers insisting that she received $25 million in fraudulent transfers from Girardi Keys. So on Tuesday, Jay Edelson said, Publicity was behind much of the reason for a, quote, backroom settlement. You know, we reported on a settlement that was being worked out between the trustee, Ronald Richards, and Erica Girardi. Because he says, he elaborates, so he says much of this publicity was behind much of the reason for a backroom settlement because it would, quote, let Erica off with minimal scrutiny by the trustee which would guarantee they will stay in a tabloid press, meaning more Twitter follows for Ronald Richards and a larger paycheck for Erica next season of performing in the Real Housewives franchise. <sighs> so in fairness, Ronald Richards has responded to these accusations and this barrage of emails and these threats that Jay Edelson is accusing him of. Let me just backtrack before we get into what Ronald says. Just to elaborate on what Jay Edelson says that came his way in regards to his, his communication with Ronald Richards. He says, far stranger, however, was the barrage of emails that the firm received shortly thereafter from special counsel to the trustee, Ronald Richards, unethically threatening to reveal information that would do, quote, damage to the firm if Edelson did not agree to table the motion and accept financial records that he said would show Erica had not received any client funds in connection with Lion Air. So, of course, Ronald Richards, always ready to respond, even in our YouTube comments. Hey, Ronald, we see you. Ronald responded by saying, you're not allowed to talk about the negative facts that may come out as a result of a motion, he explained. That's well within the rules. That's not a shakedown. That's what lawyers do every day. And of course, Ronald took it to social media and Lord, the images he decides to use under the caption of this image where you see military men, I believe this is France. Look, He says the reporting limitations of being an attorney only on the Erica Girardi case are inconsistent with our bigger mission, which is exposing the entirety of all the players, as well as doing what's fair and right, even if it's unpopular to some. Therefore, we are parting ways on this case, so we are free to comment without fear of re repercussions or limitations. But you also may recall Ronald Richards fought to stay on this case. Now, all of a sudden, he would like to depart. Or was he fired? According to Jay Edelson, he reposted the now deleted tweet. And we shared that in our previous video. This is just translation for I was fired. Jay Edelson shared a tweet from Megan Kuniff. And in Megan Kuniff's tweet, she says, regarding Ronald Richards versus Jay Edelson in the Tom Girardi, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills bankruptcy saga, this is a significant development just after replacing Richards with a new special counsel amid some pretty serious collusion allegations. The trustee no longer opposes Edelson going after Erica. Okay, th these are key details that we need to keep in mind. Okay. So Jay Edelson re- tweeted this and said this. Two things happened right after Ronald Richards was fired. First, and mind you, he says fired. I know Ronald Richards has said, no, I decided to step away. Here's a perfect example. Remember when Nene says she decided not to, not to come back? This is what it feels like. <laughs> this is what it feels like. 
So Jay, Jay Edelston retweeted this tweet and says, two things happened right after Ronald Richards was fired. First, as noted below, the trustee was withdrawn from her opposition to us moving forward against Erica. Second, the trustee has agreed to let our reply be made public. That This means the public can see what we found. These attorneys, I get it. I get it. According to Jay Edelson, he would not like for this to be as public or a publicity stunt or trying to gain followers. And I've said this before. If you listen to my podcast, new podcast ep episode is now available. It's called You're Fired. I say, you know, he here's the thing. I think that Ronald Richards at one point and probably still now had good intentions on finding the money for the victims. But does popularity, people talking about you, you're welcome, get to your head at some point? And a lot of you have been saying this from the beginning, and you, you want your team victims. You're not team Ronald. You're not team Jay Ellison. You're not team whoever. You are team victims. You want to make sure that the victims get their money. And that's been the biggest question to Ronald. And every time Ronald answers a question, it's like, it's like trying to piece together a puzzle. Give us a clear answer. But at this point, you're no longer the case, so we don't want to hear your answer. And a lot of people are like, Kempire, that's not fair of you not to have, have Ronald Richards on your platform. That, that's all well and good. I don't care what, where Ronald wants to go or what Ronald has to say at this point, especially. But one of the things that I've learned from Oprah Winfrey is that when she decided to do TV, she said, you know what? I'm not going to allow TV to use me. I'm going to use TV. And that goes for anyone that comes on my platform. You're not going to use my platform to share your message, which I believe is not truly authentic. I have to go by my intuition and how I feel. And I honestly, and that's part of the reason why I said, if you're going to come on, on my platform, Ronald, I need to see your face. We gave you the opportunity to respond via email. Fine. We shared that information. But at this point, you're no longer, no longer on the case. So let this be the last time that we talk about Ronald Richards. Unless there's another case that comes up. We know the Jen Shaw situation is happening. We know that he's involved in that documentary. You never know, Ron. You might get another opportunity to get some people talking about you. But what we are going to gear back to is getting money for the victims. So as always, what I say, I'm not team... Whoever against whoever, I'm Team Kempire first, for, first and foremost, because got to take care of me. But also, getting the information out there in regards to the victims and are the victims going to get this money? We shall see. And as always, I'm going to go to Emily D. Baker. I saw she talked about this and she's going to talk about more about this because when she breaks things down, it makes sense to me. And that's why Emily is doing so well, because everyone else doesn't have a law degree. And Emily makes it make sense. So thank you, Emily. We love you. And I'm going to head on over there to, to learn a little something about more about what's going on in regards to this Travis Scott situation and everything else. Guys, if you're not subscribed to Emily D. Baker, subscribe to my Taurus sister. Love her. And Ron, we appreciate you for what you've done and what you've exposed early in this whole saga. Now it's time for us to move on and see if the victims will actually receive the money that they're owed. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this saga, this update. And as, as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.